Hey guys, welcome to another figure review, and today we're going to take a look at the new Star Wars The Force Awakens 3.75 quarter inch Kylo Ren figure. He comes in an open window box packaging with a cool car back, and on the uh, on the left of him, he there's an image of the character of him right there. On the top of the left corner, there's the logo of Star Wars The Force Awakens. On the top right corner, there's a face image of him right there. That's on all the packages. And as we take a look at the back, it gives you a brief description of the character right there and all the other characters that you can pick up. And there's some sort of like machine toy that you can build if you collect all these three figures. Like this piece right here comes with him, Carlo Ren. Uh, See, it, it tells you how to hold it right there. So, pause the video right now if you want to read the description. So, let's stop talking and open this bad boy up. Be right back. So, here's the figure right out of the packaging. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this figure. Okay, let's start with the head. The head is on a ball joint. So, but, like, this hood piece right here is not, like... It's not like cloth material, it's like this hard plastic, like it's actually molded as a head, you can't really take it off. I, that was kind of a butter. I was really expecting like this piece to be a, like a cloth so you can like unhood it and unhood, unhood it. But it was really a bummer, I mean like I really wish that this piece was a cloth. But as you can see on the back of his um neck, you see it has like this rubber piece cloth. I, now, like, on the Black Series one, it had the exact same thing, like this, as a rubber piece. But on the Black Series, it has this as a cloth, but on, like, the 3.75 quarter inch is, a, is a, like, molded onto the head. So, like, so, going all the way around his body, um, his belt, like, right here in the belt buckle, is very, like, um, silver, and... If you can see the tiny, there's tiny buttons with um black painting on them. It's really nice detail, really tiny detailed. I didn't know they were gonna actually paint that, paint that part. But on the back of his cloth, not really much, just one black solid color. Um, as you can see, the belt is really this nice shiny um plastic right there. Um, on his hand, not really, not much of um. Painted detail on his hands, but not really much detail. Now here's another bummer. Now I was expecting this figure to have cloth, but apparently this is not cloth. It's just one solid black plastic mold. His legs is a actually attached to the cloth plastic. Now that was a now that's a bummer. I really expected this like whole row piece to be a cloth but it actually is actually a part of the leg so like you have to open his leg to actually see his leg now it's really nice detail that he actually put it into the leg like he like his boots are really nice shiny and really nice wrinkles in the pants right there but it's really weird with the cloth piece on his leg like that because i think they should have like did this whole piece as a cloth because that would make it much nicer instead of like really dumb. So it re he looks dumb with this cloth piece attached to his leg. I mean like there's nothing you could do. Like he's really shiny boots and a lot of wrinkles in. So it's really nice that they added that detail in there. Okay so let's take a look at the articulation wise. So his head is on a ball joint. He's slightly move up and down but not much he can look left and look right he can do a 360 spin his hands can go upwards do a 360 spin and downwards also has the other arm but on this arm it really hinders your articulation because of this cloth piece it's over the shoulder so it really hinders oh now you see like oh so like i'm not gonna show you his head this piece is really part of his head, so you cannot take it. But this is a separate piece, so if you want to take it off, you can take it off. So how, there's he, how he looks like without the piece. But you can just put that really back on and snap it right back in. 
His head can come out re really easily if you like push this arm too like high. It it will pop the head and the claw piece off. So you don't really want to put like to force it up like that. And you can go down only that much because of the cloth piece. That's really the bummer. Um, you can, I can tell you he has no waist um, swivel. His leg can kick upwards that much and only kick that back. Oh wait, kick only that back. No, you cannot actually kick back the like the leg. That's a really bummer. I really, I really wish they made this piece of cloth instead of a plastic. But it's really nice, like wrinkles in like in the robe right there. Real nice wrinkles. So you can see the boots, the tip of his toes, and on the bottom of his feet has like these two peckles right there. Okay, let's take up the really tiny details. His mask. I really liked his head. He has like these tiny like markings on the side of his like mask. Really shiny, like um silver paint right there with um black wash on it. He has a black mask, and on on this on his forehead, he has a really tiny markings right there. Really tiny markings. There it goes right there. You can see the lines marked in there, and on the tip, it you can actually see the tip of his head is all black right there. Really nice. Now, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. Now, let's take a look at the main accessory. He comes with a signature lightsaber, three bladed lightsaber. I mean like, I really like this accessory. I mean like, look at the lightsaber, it's a, like a regular lightsaber but with two like end points at the, at the end. I mean like this is a really nice lightsaber, it's really nice um silver shiny paint on the handle right there, really nice red plastic um, on translucent plastic right there, you can actually kind of see my hand go through it. Really nice um texture to the lightsaber, really nice bumps right there. Got some really nice details on the lightsaber right there. Tiny details on the lightsaber right there. Right there, really nice. You can actually you could just put a you could just put that lightsaber right there on his hand. Right there. There you go. Here there he is holding a signature lightsaber. And he comes with another um weird accessory that that comes with him. He comes with this weird like claw thing. Now it doesn't really look like claw, but he can put his hand right here, and it's really weird because look, it, the white piece of clothes to represent a claw. So like, you can put his hand right there, and the. Clothes. I really I thought it was gonna be one solid piece, but it actually has some articulation to it So like you can put it on on his hand and he can have a articulated claw Like no, 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 it really nice. It can only go up and down got some really nice dark shiny plastic right there with the end tips of green paint Really nice came out really great and these are white pieces. Um, these are white plastic with um, they painted like this handle green as well as the other other side. Here's the bottom of it. Really nice texture. It on the bottom has this peg so the peg can peg on the other piece right there. Now here's the piece. That, now this tells you like the description of the piece, and it tells you all the other um, parts like this. Comes with the other um, if you collect all the other characters. Uh, you can get their um, accessories and make them into a machine. Now, Captain Phasma comes with this um, blade, and Luke Skywalker comes with this like um, backpack robot. I don't know. And if you get all the parts, you can actually put them together and make this bad boy right here. As you make this machine, so like a robot. And for size comparisons, here he is standing next to the first order stormtrooper. Now, when the now you can see them standing right next to each other. Kylo is really um taller than the stormtrooper, but I really think they fit in scale. Like I think Kylo is much much bigger than the stormtrooper. Like he is much bigger. 
you, know, you can see the comparison right there. I really think they fit in scale. Uh, movie accurate right there. So there is my review on the new 3.75 quarter in Star Wars The Force Awakens Kylo Ren figure. Now I really like this, really hate the lack of pink deco and really hate the lack of cloth material. I really wish they added cloth material to this figure, really bum, um, I really say not good of a figure but really worth it if you really like the character. I mean worth it because of the lightsaber and the character himself. Um, I forgot to um, show you guys, this piece cannot like fit on this hand, it can only fit on this hand, if you can see on the pamphlet, it shows you which hand you can put it on, you have to put it on, so like if you take the lightsaber out, it cannot fit in this hand, it cannot fit, I tried it, but it does not fit, it can only fit on this hand, so like, you put it on here, it's meant for this hand right here, you can put it on here, and Boom, he has a claw. Claws right there. Now, that's a really nice accessory for I don't know what, why does he need a claw, but he has the force. But, really nice figure. Um, really a bummer, I should say. I really should recommend the Black Series one because it actually comes with claws and has a lot of articulation. But, um, not like good of a figure but a really cool like character himself like that so there is my review on the new 3.75 quarter inch star wars the force awakens kylo ren figure if you like this review please like and subscribe for more star wars the force awakens um reviews so thank you for watching so happy hunting my friends and have a nice day